Oh my goodness, guys. The amount of crayfish that I am catching out here. Less than freaking one hour. This is unfreaking real, guys. A bucket and a half, less than one hour. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Angel. Nice to meet you. So, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, you already know, man, we are back out here again trying to get a full bag of crawfish. Anyways, I'm kind of like dirty and sweaty because I got here like at two o'clock in the morning. And let me tell you, I caught almost two buckets less than one hour. That's insane. And the reason why. You know these crawfish are actively eating it's because it's the season guys so my advice to you guys is that if you guys want to target these delicious freshwater crustacean these crawfish are in every water right now and it's because it's the season it's summertime so what these crawfish do you know during you know the winter the spring they would barrel into the mud and they would hibernate until you know summer if you guys see my video, keep in mind that I post my videos on the same exact day. So, you know, next time when you guys do decide to target crawfish, you know what day, what time, and what month to go. In today's video, I'm just trying to educate you guys on how to get this crawfish. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to constantly record some random stuff. I'm just going to start recording, you know, the pull-ups nonstop. So, let's get to it. Oh. Look at that, look at that guys. Oh my goodness. It's like 20 in one scoop. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of crawfish. Check it out guys. The amount of crawfish out here is insane. One scoop, I got at least 20 crawfish in one scoop. Wow, this is unreal. Anyways, I do have a recent, you know, video that I posted a couple of days ago of me coming out here and catching lobster sized crawfish and doing the catch and cook. So if you guys are interested in watching my recent video content, I'll go ahead and pop up that thumbnail right now and put that video content on the description down below. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn, look at that. Freaking 10 right there. 10 big ones. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yep. It's active. I'm trying to catch as much as I can before the sun goes up. Oh, there's a lot on here. Look at that. Oh, not that much. Like five. But it's all good. Before. You know, on my first trip targeting crawfish, I was catching, you know, some small size baby crawfish. And let me tell you, I would pull like one to two crawfish and it was a grind, but kind of worth it at the same time. But ever since I found a spot, you know, it got me thinking twice, like, man, that spot wasn't even worth it. The first spot I went, if you guys haven't watched my first video content, I'll go ahead and pop it up. And put that description down below so yeah on that location man the crawfish was so damn small to the point where like it wasn't even worth it there's so much crawfish out here that they're coming out of the water guys they're crawling all over the place like one or two or three you'll see them in the grass like right there i see one over there look see that look look at that we're halfway there we're halfway there, guys. Whew. I'm sure you guys are going to ask me, Angel, when is it the best time to go crawfishing? Well, like May all through July, you know, um, during the summertime. And the best time, you know, to go out here is like early morning or late afternoon. So yeah, what these crawfish would do is that when they can't handle the heat, they would go back into their hole and they would stay there until the sun goes down. These bigger crawfish, are at the worst spot ever. <coughs> I'm so freaking tired coming up and down right here. But it's worth it. Check it out. I'm like exhausted. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, 
few. Oh no, I dropped I dropped a few. Oh my goodness guys, this is insane by myself. Look at that. Oh. Easy work, easy. I just hope today, you know, it won't be too hot. Because like I've said, you know, earlier, you know, in this video, is that when it becomes scorching hot, these crawfish aren't going to eat no more. So we have to be fast, we have to be quick. Come on. I don't feel anything on here. Oh, there we go. Come on. Two. Sometimes you don't want to put like your sticks together because these crawfish would get confused on which bait to go to. See, as you guys can see, this crawfish on that bait and there's no crawfish on this bait. So make sure you spread out. Spread out your sticks. Spread out your bait, guys. Come on, let go. Check it out, guys. This spot produces a lot of crawfish. Oh, man. Watch. Ho, ho, ho. There's a lot on there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Ten big ones. Good size. Oh, there's a lot on here, guys. You see, when I move the second rod, and I only put one rod, look at that, all of them would go to this one. Oh, my plan worked. My prediction is right. I knew it. So don't put two sticks together, guys. Don't put two bait together. This crawfish would get confused. They're like, hmm, ooh, this beef liver smells better. Oh, no, let's go to the other beef liver. You know what I'm saying? It's like your wife back at home having trouble deciding what to eat, you know? Oh, damn, I'm exhausted, guys. I hope today won't hit like 100 degrees, man. It's going to be pretty hot today. That's why I'm trying to rush it. Look at that. There's not that much here. It's like four or five. You know, the reason I like using this net is because I let the small crawfish go through. I don't keep the small one. There's no point in eating them. Look at that, see? I let the small one go through. Freedom. All of the small ones, you go back. It's always this spot, guys. I can't leave it too long because these crawfish are eating everything. And I didn't even bring enough bait. Look at that. It's always this spot, man. Look at this. Holy cow. That's a lot of crawfish. We hit the jackpot. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. This is like my 10th time climbing up that little hill. Come to Papa. Yes, sir. That's what we want. We want the big ones. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Damn, bro. Whoo. Ooh, yep. Look at that. Non-stop action. Boy. Oh, they're getting bigger. Oh, man. This is so much fun. I'm about to come back out tomorrow. Look at that. I'm about to fill up the bag. Oh. Damn, this is heavy. So you know what I realized guys? The spot is producing a lot of crawfish because it's like a cut off, you know, slough and it's blocking, you know, the sun. And I'm thinking that all of these crawfish are at this location because they're trying to stay away from the sunlight. Check it out. Oh, it's cool down there too. It's like AC and mother nature. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that, see that? <laughs> oh man look oh they took oh man they almost they almost ate everything yeah i'm not gonna pull it every five minutes i'm going to pull it every one minute damn they ate everything i can't wait until the water gets low over here we'll catch them in the mud we'll walk in the mud damn look at that oh something like that it's all good Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, damn, that was a big one that came off. Damn, I'm over here like dropping half my catch back in the water. Like five of them went back in the water. Ugh. Damn, look at that. I'm about to put all of my bait over here man oh there's a lot right here look at that damn oh come to papa baby oh yeah there's a lot on there look at that oh bright red big one too damn <laughs> we hit the jackpot. Damn, look at that guy. Oh my god. Holy sh. Damn, I don't know what to say, guys. So much crawfish, I cannot keep up. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look, look. Look at this. Damn. Ooh. Look at that. This is the spot right here. This spot always produces a ton of crawfish. They eat anything. There's like 10 on here. Ooh, I can feel it. Damn, look at this. Damn. Damn, like freaking 20 on there. Damn, guys. I can't even take a break, man. Look at this. Look at that. Damn. Damn. Oh, they're bigger now. They're humongous. Oh, I haven't checked this one in a while. I forgot about this one. Ooh. Damn. Oh, look at that. A few got away, but it's all good. We'll be out here all day until I fill up that bag. Look at that, I'm halfway there. I'm gonna fill this tight to the top. And then I'm going to put this on my shoulder and ride it out. Oh man, this is freaking heavy. Whoa, we got a lot on there guys, look at this. Damn, lobster size. <sighs> Holy cow. Look at that. Damn. Oh, dude. You guys won't believe the amount of crawfish I have here. I caught all of this by myself. I did way better than the last time I came out here. Look at that. Ooh, two scoops, 30 crawfish. Good size. Oh, it's getting heavy. I haven't even checked this one yet. Ooh. Look at that. Damn. This is unfreaking real. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh. Damn. Holy cow. Dude, that's like 30 on there. 40. Dude, look at this, look at this. Damn. What the heck? This is unreal. Oh, right here, this is the spot. Oh, look, there's a crawfish right here. See, they're coming out the mud, guys. This is the spot right here. Look at this, what? Damn. Oh, 30. Oh, look. Damn, my bait is getting devoured. Dude, it's like 40 in here. Oh, I can't keep up, guys. I'm exhausted. Oh, oh man, I'm exhausted, guys. Over here, big one. Big crawfish on this side. Look at that. Damn. Holy cow. Damn, that's a big one. 
that's jumbo jumbo size this is the spot right here i don't want to leave it too long because they are eating everything oh look this is a lot guys look at this look at this damn jumbo size damn what the heck am i dreaming dude what the heck at every scoop oh same spot guys yep we hit the jackpot look at that look at that damn at every freaking pull in dude this is not real this is every freaking fisherman's dream right here man oh right here this one's going to be a lot right here yes sir check that out yes sir this spot produces a lot right here big ones too look look at this guys look at this Ooh. damn look at that freaking 40 possibly 50 crawfish in here Right here guys watch this one right here this side right here the white rod has bigger ones look watch humongous look at that damn Ooh. oh my goodness look guys damn i just filled up this little cooler the whole time the whole time i'm pulling them up like this guys Yeah, oh yeah. I'm about to fill up the schooler again. Check it out. Oh, dude, dude, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, damn. Oh, what a hell of a big. Oh. I was scooping them in the ground too. This spot right here produces a lot. I just rebaited this one. Oh, dude. I'm gonna feel the weight. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't think I can bring this home. It's too much out here. Look at it. Some of them are going in the water. I don't even care. This spot right here produces the big one. I know I keep saying it, but but check it out. Look, watch. Guarantee big ones. Yes, sir. I can feel it. Look at this, guys. Lobster size. Damn. Ooh. Oh my goodness, dude. I just filled up this cooler. Off road, baby. Let's go. Check out the amount of crawfish I caught by myself, guys. This is insane. I don't know how I did this, but I made it happen, man. Look at that. So much crawfish that they're literally climbing out. Goodness. Oh my goodness guys, the amount of crawfish I caught by myself is ridiculous. I can't even believe it myself guys, I'm like literally in shock. So I had to put all the crawfish back in the mesh net because they kept crawling out. Smart little critters. Anyways, if you guys haven't watched my recent video, again, make sure you guys check out that video content before you guys go to this video content because it has more information, you know, than today's video. Um, today was pretty epic, man. Um, 
we caught almost seven to eight buckets and i can't believe i carried the whole crawfish back to my car i mean i was surprised myself so yeah um advice for crawfishing number one when you head out there make sure you guys go early morning okay one to five o'clock in the morning is when they're very active also during the afternoon when the sun goes down number two when it comes to you know crawfishing make sure you guys tie your bait really good do not you know throw any leftover bait inside of the water you're crawfishing at and that reason is because once you give out free bait then the crawfish won't eat anymore um, number three when you're crawfishing do not put your sticks together make sure you guys uh put them far apart um number four make sure you guys you know sleeve up okay this is one of my jacket that protects me from the sun if i didn't have this jacket i would have suffered from a heat stroke um so all in total hours i spent out there was only like what three and a half hours and i caught a ton of crawfish all by myself guys so yeah um I hope this video, you know, help you guys along the way into crawfishing. These crawfish are everywhere, guys. You know, once, you know, you see updates on YouTube, just go to, like, the nearest canal. Learn from my video. Use this technique, and you guys will get some crawfish. Make sure you guys subscribe for my upcoming video. I am going to show you guys how to clean these crawfish, how to cook these crawfish in a Cambodian way, also how to eat this crawfish. All right, guys, I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. If you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.